Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I am amazed at how careless people are over their spiritual growth. It's costly to believe everyone wants to grow. There are people who are absolutely okay where they are. And um, anything that can stimulate great uh, growth is a nuisance to their spiritual life. You are not part of these people in Jesus' name. Last week we were looking at the dynamics of faith. Right? And we started from this scripture. We saw a few things. Please, those of you who do not have the message, you can get it. You must get it. It says, who against hope did what? And I explained to us last week that that those three words who against hope means in the presence of obstacles please listen in the presence of prevailing circumstances and i told us that it is not unusual to have challenges and obstacles in fact the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle are we together most people act in the presence of obstacles as though something strange had happened to them it was the apostle who said that when we face temptations and persecutions we should not approach it as though something strange had happened to us are we together so you have to educate your mind to change your perspective as far as viewing challenges are concerned now listen the presence of challenges does not mean God is not with you I think I have to say that are we together so that you do not feel guilty I love God I'm serving God why is this sickness in my body you know excuse me I love God why is this and that mountain standing before me the Bible says Abraham who against hope no evidence everything spoke against the word of God in his life now the issue is not the obstacle the issue is an understanding that it can change are we together now yeah and I shared with us I've said it again and again that every challenge comes in its magnified form you have to know this I don't care what it is every challenge in a man's life comes in its magnified form nothing is as bad as it initially looks when you sustain an ability to look beyond the mountain and then you believe so abraham he had all kinds of physical and biological evidences but the bible says who against hope what did he do believed in hope uh -huh, that he might become the father of nations at the time he was believing he was not yet in the physical are we together now study the operation of faith here who against hope believed in hope that he might become so you believe to become you don't become then you now be no 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 as many as believed him even to them that received him he gave them power to become power to become the power to become is tied in your believing not the mountain your believing are we together now 
that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken remember we discussed last week that your believing must be based on the word of god there is no other platform that gives you a guarantee to believe now understand this you can act on many words you can act on the word of a herbalist that's not faith are we together now you can act on the word of your conscience you can act in response to fear faith is only predicated on the word of god that is understood believed and acted upon if the word of god is not the platform upon which your believing is built it cannot be faith are we together now so that you are believing something that you are believing a report the bible says whose report that means there are many the medical report is a report the pain in your body is a report but it says whose report will you believe hallelujah and we shared a few other very powerful things how that faith starts with revelation remember and then through understanding you attain onto a position of conviction conviction persuasion it says but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded persuasion is restful confidence you come to a point where you are you are at peace about a certain thing god has said you're not moving all around trying to doubt him restful confidence and then we spoke about action action is what gives the whole process the name faith without action it stops at belief are we together now faith and believing are not the same thing believing is part of the process of manifesting faith but until you act out what you believe it is not faith please i think you need to get this this is where many people miss it we claim we believe so many things but the point of action is the proof that you believe and we discussed a few action steps that we take the speaking of the word it could be giving it could be a prophetic act it could be you know whatever it is um you can get it tonight i want to just build on what we shared last week and help us understand a few things and um we're looking at the subtopic faith boosters um there are certain things we need to add to our faith work to concretize our results are we together faith is the foundation but there are other principles that we can add to faith to accelerate our result either make it faster make it consistent make it firmer to strengthen our hands and guarantee that the result will be produced and we're going to look at a few of them hallelujah everyone say god is a good god please shout it god is a good god um, I want to tell you something before we start to talk about faith boosters. You see, knowing the will of God, listen please, knowing the will of God is very important in your manifesting faith. Most people are unable to manifest faith because they are in doubt. Are we together? If you know that if you walk up to me right now and ask me for a thousand naira, I have told you that I will give you. Will you be afraid of coming to approach me? your confidence is based on an assurance i gave you whether spoken directly to you or documented so it is important to take out time and search through scriptures find out the provisions that have been made available for the believer in christ are we together when you are born again you come into an inheritance it is by grace but it is through faith and it is important for you to know the things that are given to you right the bible says according as his divine power hath given us all things listen that pertain unto life and godliness but it comes through the knowledge of him that has called us what to glory and virtue right then the next verse says wherefore hath he given us this great and exceeding uh, precious promises that by them we might be the partakers of his divine nature is that true haven't escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss so the bible is very clear that it is the desire of god the bible says that he daily loads us with benefits he daily loads us with benefits 
if you do not know it is the will of God for you to prosper you will feel guilty for learning the laws of wealth if you do not know it is the will of God for you to be healed and to be whole right and to not walk in sickness you will never be able to make claims so it is important that we establish the fact that this God is a good God the goodness of God is an attribute of his glory it's a revelation of his benevolence his willingness to bless us the Bible says he that did not spare his only son but offered him up for us how much more with him shall he give us freely all things to enjoy are we together I can guarantee you it is God's will for you to experience the fullness of the essence of the life of God now we don't serve God because of those results we don't serve God for money we don't serve God for children we don't serve God for jobs and all of that however at a point in your Christian experience God has arranged these things to be consolations to you the same way if I come to a Jimmy's house I didn't come to eat are we together I didn't come to his house to eat however if I come to his house and I sit down and the wife serves me something I should enjoy it it's part of their benevolence it's part of the package for hospitality are we together now so we love God for who he is we love God enough for what Jesus Christ has done however he has designed a system where we not only manage our way in this life please I like you to factor it in your equation of the kingdom life that there is a provision where you can access a life of blessing there is a provision whereby the grace of God you can rise to a point where you you find consolations to your Christian experience it can be warfare all through your life are we together it can be starvation all through your life it can be sickness all through your life there is already a provision at a point in your life you should be able to celebrate God and say bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name right bless the Lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits benefits number one who forgives your sins number two who heals your body there are many benefits the Bible calls them the fruits of salvation are we together faith boosters let's look at a few of them number one the first um, key that you need to add to your faith haven't discovered that this is how faith works number one is patience write it down the faith the first faith booster you must add to your faith so it can carry you until the word of god is made manifest when you order a product if you order this speaker say from uk or china when you pay for it they send you something to your mail right a receipt to certify that you've paid for it and this is yours but sometimes they will tell you to allow for two to three weeks right for shipping they have to ship it down to lagos clay that and then korea people will now bring it to the door of your house but right from when it was there in the store it was already yours are we together let me tell you the truth i wish everything in the kingdom will come speedily some things for whatever reason take time and you will need to add to your faith patience say patience is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am Is there anything Too hard for me to do I am that I am Hallelujah I think this is where many of us get cheated Because we do not have access Listen To seeing the things that happen in the spirit While we have prayed are we together now you have prayed is four months but you've not taken in so you believe that because there is no medical report to show that it was not answered are we together receive that boost that sustaining power you now go to a herbalist because you now say god the thing about faith is the law is so strict 
when you break it it will start again are, are you getting the point now oh yes it will start again after wasting your time then the devil just comes in and you see satan has mastered man listen listen satan has an advantage of age i hope you know he's been here before every one of us so he has seen the vulnerability of men evolve through civilization he knows our humanity he will use the sensory realm because the realm of the flesh is satan's domain listen that's why when you walk in the flesh you can never walk by faith because the realm of the senses is where satan exists he has mastered using your eyes using your perception using the things you hear to change your conviction he is a master at that are we together the bible says there is therefore now no condemnation romans 8 verse 1 to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh right but after the spirit who walk not after the flesh because the bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace to be carnally minded doesn't mean to be immoral to be carnally minded means to be ruled by your senses the 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 platform upon which your conviction is built your perceptions but you know the doctor told me look at it the doctor said it that i will never be pregnant again sensory perception who against hope against that report believed god now you know there is this there is this false sense of maturity in the body of christ where people claim they are too mature to believe the word of god or to be childlike at believing god if you are too mature to be a child before god forget about signs and wonders the miraculous are for those who have childlike faith who can say god this is your word if i perish i perish are we together some of us have this motivated false sense of maturity look look we are not children here we know you are sick we know you are sick you are going to die and we act as though no 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 i'm not ready to just speak like a child the bible says except you become like one of these little children you will never experience the fullness of the kingdom so don't listen to what i'm saying and just say are you not enjoying apostle that's why you are saying it no sir no sir it takes faith it takes faith to change things patience patience is a powerful virtue in the spirit what is patience the quality of staying through the quality of staying through the quality of staying through i like the way king james puts it he calls it long suffering everybody say long suffering the word suffering there is not going through hell the word suffering there is like long permission the word suffer in scripture is the word permit hallelujah I, I can't remember where I was talking. I think I was talking to, uh, I can't remember, some gentlemen were at my place and I was talking to them. The way spiritual things work, eh? Five minutes to your breakthrough, it will still look like you are in hell. You know in the physical, you can know that something is getting close. Sometimes it's not so in the realm of the spirit. Five minutes to your breakthrough, you will still feel like nothing is happening. That's why you must walk by faith joseph that he was only 24 hours away from being a prime minister 24 hours by the world system he would have come out of that prison to somewhere else so he can now know that wow i'm rising but in the realm of the spirit no sir it will happen overnight you just wake up and find out that things have changed but the waiting process please hear me i know what i'm saying the waiting process is the test of spiritual maturity every man that comes to you god says he's not the one now you're even afraid of asking him <laughs> but god says wait and you're saying oh god will he ever come he will come home. and the day you see him you will know that he was worth the wait but you can choose to negotiate your way and patch something and cry for the rest of your life and say if only i waited two more months i waited 12 years the last two months is it not painful have you seen people run relay someone from round one or marathon from round one he falls down 
they keep him somewhere and then someone the last round falls down too they keep them at the same place that's what is so painful with life so you didn't do anything grace to finish through in the name of jesus christ grace to finish through there are many of you you've been holding on to the word of god you are almost there you are almost there your spirit tells you something is about to happen but you are about to give up on god now because of some foolish sensory things listen beware of the sense realm beware of the sense realm is satan's realm of existence to a point that you sit down and start asking yourself let me tell you what satan will do he would direct your eyes to one nonsense that was written by one journalist all these journalists that write against men of god he will now write and say can you see them they leave the poor and the hungry and they are buying nice cars nice watches nice this they are not nice people so your unbelief and your fear now collapse with that information and it gives you a legal platform to disbelieve god so you cheat yourself say i'm a believer shout it i'm a believer who against all hope against hope believe don't give up on god because he won't give up on you he said faith with patience faith with patience faith with patience is powerful the first booster of your faith is patience you know how long abraham waited 25 years it takes time for the word of god to produce but brothers and sisters when it produces when a woman is pregnant listen when she goes to the hospital and they say madam congratulations you are two weeks pregnant her stomach can still be as flat as an arrow but she's pregnant is that true she believes that report and she's happy about it and then gradually in an annoying way the child starts growing gradually with all the side effects that comes two months to go she knows she must wait at a point she can tell her husband my husband i'm tired but you know that patience is not a choice if you want that baby are we together you can wait when you give birth to a baby at five months what happened was that a baby are we together a woman does not say see i'm tired this is five months go and bring out this baby i can't wait she endures sometimes even when the edd has passed she will, the baby will still take plus one week or two weeks are we together and she will still be trusting god but when the baby arrives visitors will start coming they come all the money they give is to you but it's on account of that baby do you not know that your waiting is business itself uh, you will be paid for waiting that baby is the light that the bible says will arise oh you will be paid for waiting because the people who are paying you would rather pay you and receive it they can't wait as long as you are waiting because you went through hell they can't go through it so they will be forced to honor your grace god designed the system that way they can't buy you they can criticize you but if they must get that dimension they must honor your grace so please i like you to say my waiting is not a waste shout it my waiting is not a waste, my waiting is not a waste listen successful people are those who continued when failure stopped i don't watch movies but there's this film that will never leave my mind lord of the rings hey, jimmy lord of the rings there's that short guy what's his name no 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 he has a friend thank you Sam is the most inspiring person for me in that film there was a time if you've not watched it don't worry just believe what i'm saying are we together the gentleman who was the ring bearer was the only one authorized by prophecy to hold the ring point he was 
and then the friend said something he said i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you come on now come on now i don't watch movie for entertainment i watch movie for prophecy prophetic messages that are in line with the word of god i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you i can carry you i can carry you force your body to speak that to your spirit i don't know the blessing but i will keep carrying the spirit Hiya. until the result comes all the days of my appointed time brothers and sisters the bible says surely there is an end everybody say it surely there is an end. over that pain surely there is an end. they went through fire they went through hell when you see us stand and talk sometimes you think we are bragging no sir it is testimony that is nice the process is painful when a woman stands and says for 15 years i had 20 miscarriages but now god gave me triplets at once somebody said what's the big deal those are the kind of people who will never receive anything from god 15 years of insult 15 years of being called a man as a woman 15 years of being threatened that they will marry another wife yet she stood she, she bought her doll baby at the fifth year she bought the clothes by faith hoping the child will come and she was disappointed in ministry in business when you see a successful person young or old respect their tears respect their pain It is only when you have the light that people come are we together there are times in this journey of faith you will have to walk alone because others will say we warn you that's not the way and you choose to walk in it ah, but when you hold that light when you hold that light then the Gentiles come to your light I'm encouraging someone already it will come to pass mm. that's one of my best my best scriptures in the Bible it never comes to stay it comes to pass chronos it must pass mm. who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the floor i just feel god is really encouraging someone mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords listen let them laugh at you you are not the first to be laughed at are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says as soon as zion travails it didn't say as soon as zion rejoices you will have to cry it's not unbelief that yes patience and say lord i may be crying but i wait upon you i'm holding on to the horns of the altar i know my god will show up okay if you laugh at me i would have laughed at myself if i were you but the word of god my god the word of god has the power of resurrection they have learned they now know what to do with challenges mm. my spirit is fired up someone needs to be patient someone needs to be patient mm. wait I will never forget years ago at new extension here i was invited that time they didn't used to invite me i was anointed i was still very anointed i will never forget i prayed and fasted for three days i had to go out in the rain no protocol to help me but there was prophecy upon my life brothers and sisters if you forget anything don't forget that there is a prophetic word i know there's no money in your pocket but there is something upon your life listen i want you to educate yourself tonight of rising above what people say if you want to be great if they were successful they would not have time to talk about you i guarantee you they are talking about you is a sign to you they are not going anywhere patience can you wait for that child can you wait for prosperity or you are ready to cut corners huh. whatever god cannot give me let it not come home mm. whatever god cannot give me let it not come there are some of you here those who have laughed at you will come and ask you 
they will soon come and confess and say please tell me how it's happening I laughed because I was frustrated not because I hated you I have wondered how you are doing it sit down let's hurry up faith booster number one patience number two the second key you need to boost your faith is tapping into the power of agreement write it down the second faith booster is the mystery of agreement open your spirit to hear what i'm about to teach you now hmm. matthew 18 from verse 18 to 20 jesus speaking help us please matthew 18 it says verily i say unto you what shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven so he's talking about receiving results next verse that if two of you listen jesus is teaching us a mystery in the spirit that there are certain dimensions that are only activated when there are at least two people there are certain realities in the spirit that cannot be established until there is a witness that if two of you shall agree on earth listen in how many things are stopping anything he didn't say if two of you shall pray listen understand what the bible is saying you went to school if two of you shall do what <sighs> shall agree what does it mean to agree because this was reiterated in amos 2 right can two walk together except they i will share with you something that will change your life forever right now the power of agreement there is a spiritual force that is released in the realm of the spirit listen when you can find come when you can find someone to genuinely believe with you that what listen i can pray with you and not believe what i'm praying i have not agreed it didn't say if any two shall be a witness to agree means i believe in my spirit that what you are believing god for is doable and i i don't just bring my mouth i bring my heart and my faith as touching where is it anything I believe oh you want triplets and i'm here with my own belief i'm not a good agreer you can pray and i say oh god and while you are praying in the name of jesus lord thank you for a mecca his wife must carry triplets this year and i'm there say amen do i agree no let me tell you how you know people don't agree they will leave you and go to somebody and say ah triplets you want to kill your wife you see let me tell you that person does not agree with you and that's what we do many of us christians we run to people who sometimes you even know their faith level cannot receive what you are agreeing with listen to agree with you means similar convictions concerning that matter i know god can give me a job of five hundred thousand, and the person said let's pray and then you tell him brother pray for us he said lord what is it that you cannot do we thank you so much he's afraid to mention the issue directly because you know have you seen people like that lord we give you all the praise one thing we know about you is that your will prevails over all he's praying about your issue you clearly said what the issue is and hear how the person is driving around and father we give you the praise in all things be glorified amen you didn't pray for me i don't agree with you that thing is not agreement if any two shall agree as touching as touching lord this person needs to build a house this year i'm agreeing i know it is possible four months is too much for a house to be built lord i agree with him right now he has only hundred thousand and the budget is seven million lord i release my faith genuinely the bible says if you can find a man if it was easy 
the bible will not it says if i say to you if for any reason you can find a man brothers and sisters it's not as easy as we make it look is finding somebody whose convictions will be similar to yours to agree on an issue i know that we just say in church okay let's agree with one another and of course there's a place for that but the context of this scripture is one who genuinely let me show you two people who did that in scripture the moment mary the holy ghost spoke to mary mary said how shall these things be she needed another woman who has had to believe god for impossible things and so god referred her to someone to agree with her as soon as they met were they praying the baby left that's agreement that's agreement there are people the moment you see them the atmosphere of faith around them will make you to go and adjust what you were praying for the other part you cancel you go and write it back and say what made me cancel it our society is full of foolish friends fraternities that are not profitable spiritually kawana abokina and they are not going anywhere leave do not ever make anybody your closest friend who does not agree with you love is a command association is not all these cultural fraternities we keep dragging to our lives people who have mastered the art of killing our faith you can't share your dreams in their presence because you know they are about to laugh at you god told me that i'm going to have a conglomerate is a big business and the person laughs at you and says you how are you say how as you are hearing yourself how are you now they, you may laugh but leave that person and never share that kind of thing the mistake joseph made was he shared his dream with people who did not agree with him he suffered 12 years for it thank you thank you the power of agreement ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 let's hurry up ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 when you can find someone who agrees with you there is a force that is released in the realm of the spirit the bible says read it please everyone one to read two are better than one why because they have a good reward for their labor there is a reason why two are better than one i pray for you may the person who agrees with you be your spouse because listen if you're a married person and you have to look for someone outside of your spouse you are ready to pour water it's like pouring water on fire every day every day how many spouses don't agree with their husbands the man speaks a word of faith she goes back and discusses it with people and say look at this this foolish no wonder he's the way he is very stupid man honestly i don't know what made me kite i was deceived let me just agree that i've been cheated that's a wife talking about her husband do you agree with him i guarantee you many things will go wrong in that house you don't agree Th that's part of the blessings of marriage you should never marry somebody you don't agree with figure eight figure whatever macho tall dark and handsome all that is nonsense if the person does not agree with you you marry the person you are going to punish yourself and punish your destiny say amen, amen. you see let me tell you you can laugh all you can let me carry my bible you see there is a way listen everybody listen when the bible talks of agreement god is not stupid do you know why he made a wife you think it's just for children are we together there were some things adam could not have done if eve did not come reproduction is just one is the obvious one do you know let's not we're not doing marriage seminar agreement the bible says two are better than one because they have a good reward if you want to experience uh, your life working against this scripture i hand it over to you but i advise you i advise you never i don't know why i'm talking about this marriage thing now please ask yourself the person who is going to go and see your father with you now don't say does he love me it's not a wise question does he agree with me you are praying in tongues the person is not praying in tongues he's just keeping quiet he's about to stop you it's because a ring has not entered his hand 
The other day you fasted, he kept quiet. You came for koinonia. He, uh, he acted as if he's happy. He's busy watching you. You are, you are seeing lack of agreement right before your eyes and you are still going. You don't need any prophecy. You're already in trouble. He comes to drop you for koinonia and then goes away. After the grace, you come and wait somewhere there. Don't you know there's a spirit making him do it? You are marrying that spirit too. I hope you are aware. That's how believers cheat themselves. We cheat ourselves because we disobey these simple principles of scripture. I want you to edit the association of your friends. Do it this night. Do it this night. I know what is stopping some of us because I'm about to talk about association briefly. Fear of being criticized. For some of us who are used to it, we, it's like butter on bread. <laughs> There's even nothing to say again. We have mastered the art of riding above criticisms. You have to learn this. If the closest people in your life don't agree with you, you are in trouble. Wrong associations. If you want your faith to rise, you need to create in your life a kingdom community of like-minded god-minded people never forget this creating a kingdom community of like-minded believers is the key to sustaining kingdom values creating a kingdom community of like-minded believers it matters that you are surrounded by community of men and women whose spiritual perception and convictions are similar to yours it will shield you and it will help you when you fall out it's easy for you to come because there is a community are we together now if you are the greatest prayer warrior in your group you're already in trouble because the day you don't pray every other person is depending on you you see what that means When we talk about community life, all those who have been part of this ministry for at least seven, eight years will tell you the reason why many people's spiritual lives have risen is the power of community, kingdom community. It is on grounds of this that I recommend social media platforms. I'm not a fan of social media because it's, 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 uh, it's largely all junk there. It has made the world a psychological world where people don't have, you know, their, their, their emotions are are like rubber they can't stand firm and make decisions everybody's business is everybody's business but it can be harnessed properly are we together everybody say kingdom community, kingdom community. shout it kingdom community. kingdom community we're discussing with Ejimi today he went to escort me to get fuel and we we're just talking with him and i was sharing with him something and i was telling him how that this it is important to be associated with people who you are comfortable practicing what you know to be your christian experience in their midst there are places you are there you want to pray in tongues you must trek as if you are going to buy food then you get to one bush you look you shout ah you don't hear anything then you now turn you think that's a good association yet you you call all those people your best friends they come and see you studying and they love holy mary they, they are not they are not good friends they may not be bad but i can assure you they are not going with you where you need to go you have to change show me your christian community including pastors including men of god show me the kingdom community you have allowed to find expression in your life I will know it by the songs in your phone. I will know it by the messages you listen to. I will know it by your commitment. I will know it by the gist, your talk, and everything around. Pray in one minute and say, Father, please bring to my life all the relevant people who have what it takes to support my faith work. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Lord, I, I realize I need friends. Some of you, is just occurring to you right now for the first time that you honestly do not have friends. To you about it and you've not taken it serious. 
you really do not have anybody you can call your friend hallelujah second corinthians chapter 6 please 14 to 15 let's hurry up second corinthians chapter 6 14 to 15 kingdom association listen let me give you one big advice jesus himself was teaching the disciples a powerful principle of kingdom advance this is what he said he said when you enter a strange city he didn't say start preaching the first thing you need to do is what look for a house where there is a man of peace peace was an ancient word it's called shalom it doesn't just mean somebody who doesn't make trouble peace there means somebody who is open to receive what you represent and what you are bringing he says if you find any remain there let your blessings rest there so as a as a copper when they post you somewhere the key is not to start going around and say man i'm so happy i can't believe i'm enjoying liberty like this no you are wrong the first thing is to start scouting where do we have people in this city who pray that's a spiritual man not where is chicken republic not where is a lounge take what i'm saying seriously and you begin to pray by yourself and say father you have to connect me you have to connect me you have to connect me somebody will just call you and ah you are in this town just come and two of you will meet yourself and know oh, what a breath of fresh air you will blast in tongues for three hours help yourselves and the next time you will be thinking god is not doing anything in that city until you just find a group of five rugged people who there is always representatives in every city that you have not seen it it's, it's only because you are not passionate enough they may not have a name for any ministry they are just young people who love god you find them and connect with them they will help your life within your stay in that place and if there is none god will begin to move you it doesn't mean you have to name it the name of your ministry just people who come around oh god give me a small room so that we can have that in two days you have gotten a room these are the, there are prayers see there are prayers that god answers fast any prayer that responds to thy kingdom come you are getting god's answer at once Lord, more space and all of a sudden you'll be praying and you'll just hear somebody who knock and say sorry are you pastor so 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 and he said no no i'm just sorry he said sorry they led me here who they did that's ah if you don't walk by faith you will not know how the holy spirit works one woman will start coming i've taught you the mystery of women when women start coming to your meeting women are gates in the spirit it means something is about to be born it's a sign write it use it any day to walk anything you are doing you don't see women um let me assure you that there is trouble <laughs> read your bible i'm teaching you spiritual intelligence the first person to herald the resurrection was a woman women are gates in the spirit they signify the birthing of something new the woman will now come she may not even be filled with the holy spirit you're already praying are you seeing that now she will tell you she has two people staying in her house she will drag them the next time from your door they get filled with the holy spirit god is already working by the end of your stay in that place you have over 200 people praying you bless them hand it over to a pastor or inaugurate something there the kingdom has come but the key is to search if you don't find any create one it is god's idea that in every territory there must be platforms that represent center for kingdom activities there must be platforms erected whether as ministries or just as prophetic platforms they could be seasonal or they could be there permanently but god find a space in every territory are we together kingdom community it says but be ye not what unequally yoked with who with unbelievers he said for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with darkness 15 
And what concord had Christ with Belial? Or what part had he that believeth with an infidel? The infidel there is not just talking about a non-Christian, no. He's talking about somebody who you do not agree. Please, I want to encourage you. You see, eh? some of you in Koinonia here, God has brought precious friends to you. Hold them. You will need them. Someone who is your friend when you don't have any money. He drank Gary together. No matter how much you have, that person is a worthy friend. They don't have to be perfect. Those looking for perfect friends, I guarantee you, they are not around. They don't exist. You are not even one of them. Are we together now? The idea is not perfection. Substitute perfection with sincerity of heart. Surround yourself. Man of God, this may be a word for you. There is nobody to help you. There is nobody to share your pain. There are people here when you are going through pain, there's nobody to share your pain with you. You sit alone and die alone. God is helping us in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Psalm 1, Blessed is the man who does not stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful and so on and so forth. He says his delight. The man is not a wicked man. The man is not a sinner. The man is not any of those things. But he's walking with them. He's walking with them. Eventually he will become them. Listen. When Lot chose a land. Remember Lot and Abraham? When they started quarreling. Lot, the Bible says Lot settled near Sodom. Everybody say near Sodom. He never entered Sodom. He settled near Sodom. When Abraham came to rescue him, where did he find him? In the heart of Sodom. All you need to do is stay near a smoker. After one week, the smoke will not enjoy you again. You are growing. Until a day will come, you do, <laughs> you do smoking competition. You say you finish one cigarette, don't open your mouth, use your nose. You have graduated to be a pro. Child, help me, Jesus. The third faith booster. Are you getting blessed? The third faith booster is the power of praying in tongues. The power of praying in the spirit. The power of praying in the spirit. The third faith booster. Jude 1 verse 20. Just one chapter. Jude 1 verse 20. But ye beloved. Look up please. But ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith how do you do that pray in the holy ghost pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit the baptism of the holy spirit is not a pentecostal phenomenon it's been wrongly communicated by well-meaning people who love god it's been largely misunderstood and i know that there are all kinds of careless things especially for people in the charismatic circle however an exaggeration of something does not remove the fact that it is there are we together it is very important you build up your most holy faith listen there is capacity to believe god that is built as you engage praying in the spirit for many of us our prayer are just need driven angry prayers that are largely amiss are we together first corinthians 14 please help us media first corinthians 14 from verse 2 to 4 i'm interested in verse 4 but let's look at verse 2 first corinthians 14 first corinthians not samuel first corinthians help us please first corinthians verse 2 for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue does what speaketh not unto men there's already a teaching on that now please let me just say this praying in tongues listen and the gift of diverse kinds of tongues are not the same don't let anyone confuse you are we together the gift of diverse kinds of tongues is prophecy in an unknown language 
it is given for public edification and it's not for everyone but the prayer language of praying in tongues the bible says for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men right but unto god for no man understandeth him how be it in the spirit he does what he speaketh not is that what the bible says he speaks it may sound like nonsense but the bible says in the spirit he speaks what in the physical it sounds like nonsense but in the spirit he speaks mysteries verse 4 verse 4 he that speaketh in an unknown tongue does what edify himself not his congregation so there is a place of spiritual growth we're praying in the holy ghost i know you are praying but what are you saying praying in the spirit is what i call distilled prayers you know like you say distilled water the purest form of prayer praying in the spirit why for the bible says no man it says that um we 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 do not know how to pray as we ought to right but the spirit itself make it intercession for us I know you are filled with the Holy Spirit, but are you utilizing the presence of the Holy Spirit and the blessings of praying in the Spirit that He has brought? That's why every time people get born again, we always recommend when the ministry was not very big then, I used to do it myself, we we'll all do it, just get people filled with the Holy Spirit. Listen, believers, hear me. It is important that after someone gives his life to Christ, he will pass through the experience of the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of praying in tongues. If the person was not taught that way, politely teach the person. Even if you have not exercised your faith and your, your, the grace of God upon your life to minister to the person, lead the person to the place where he will be ministered to. Forget about whatever mindset they have. Don't worry. Just lead them there. In Koinonia here, we have a very robust prayer department now. You know I'm, I'm all busy and i don't have all that time to minister to people again but the prayer department there is a special prayer meeting dedicated for the infilling of the holy spirit and what glorious testimonies have come from that many people here have been filled with the holy spirit from those experiences please if you are here and you are not filled with the holy spirit you are not praying in tongues i want you to know that you are missing out on something I don't care whatever theology you have been given something is wrong something is wrong are we together now don't insult your pastor don't condemn your church whatever it is but i am telling you you are shortchanging yourself there is a dimension of growth and power and faith and spiritual development you will never be able to access and for those of us who god has granted us grace with the anointing contribute in getting people filled with the holy spirit don't just hold prayer meetings and pray and people fall down and stand up and go let people be filled with the holy spirit amen praying in the spirit brothers and sisters i cannot begin to describe to you how spiritual you become when you pray in the spirit bring a weak person we have seen in this ministry weak people weak people people as weak as whatever promise come let me use you for for instance i hope you don't mind i always love using him he shared his testimony this guy came into zaria with earrings and dreadlocks this is the assistant head of prayer for a great ministry like koinonia are we together but I can tell you his addiction for God is contagious and God has given him speed his life is moving at the speed of faith that's why today when he ministers to you you see the power of the Holy Spirit through his life oh no no matter how weak you are the Spirit of God the cure for weakness is not thank you thank you it's not getting angry with people the cure for weakness is engaging in the spirit let me tell you no matter how timid you are i give you a recipe oh see you you don't know my problem i came from a background where you know everybody didn't believe in me you are not alone we all came from the same background but you you pray your way out of that nonsense in the spirit i have seen people who 
could not even look at the face of another person. You think it's easy for ministers to just stand and hold the mic? No one is born with that grace. Boldness is what you receive when you pray in the spirit. Capacity to believe God. You don't just pray when you have problems and you are praying and saying, hey, go God. I'm now praying. No, you better be hearing me. No. Make it a culture. You are walking on the road. You don't have to just close the door. You are walking. You don't have to be shouting and disturbing everybody. You are moving around. You are just praying. I'm teaching you a secret. You turn on your bed in the night. Some of you, you turn in the night and you speak nonsense because that's the content of your spirit. You only make sense when you are wide awake. Do you know if you have to be awake to make sense, you are not spiritual? Because your body is only a material. I'm telling you this. Have you seen people who went to the bed of surgery and while they were operating on them, they were not in their consciousness. They were praying in tongues. Others were prophesying. That's the content in their spirit. Are we together? Some of you, you sleep with someone, you turn in the night. They don't come. You get up in the morning and swear and deny you never said it. That in our family, you change it. Your spirit is like a machine. You can program it. Blessed in the name of the Lord. You see these little children you are seeing? All these are our little children. The content in their spirit is faith and faith only. I watch them while we pray. Everybody run to their parents. If they see no attention, they find something to do themselves and they are touching themselves and praying. Annie's child is there doing her own. Aaron's child is doing it to me. They are all jamming themselves and all others. They are joining in what they are doing. Let me tell you what they are doing. They are programming their spirit. The moment their faculties can express it, you will marvel and wonder. You will see that the prophetic, these children begin to prophesy and say, when was it built? It's not when was it built. There was nothing else that was there. That's why if you like marry an unbeliever, that you, you will produce children with double values, double standards. You are speaking Jesus, another person is speaking culture. You know, when we say these things, people think we are just, I will keep drumming it because I want you to get it right. In Koinonia, there's zero tolerance for marrying an unbeliever. Not even an unbeliever, an unserious person. There are clear indices. I don't know why I've been coming here and talking about this thing this night. Ladies, let me give you a formula. Any man that is not under authority is a dangerous man. Hmm. Any man that nobody can talk to. You can't say, Jimmy, why did you do this? Sit down. No. That's how he will beat you and lock the door and put the key in his pocket. Because he doesn't respect authority. For now, he can buy you things, but don't be deceived. Men can be absolutely deceitful. I'm a man. I know what I'm telling you. Get what I'm telling you. Men can be absolutely deceitful. Buying you cake is not love. No. Sending you a recharge card is not love. Are we together? You must be very serious. You don't have to say yes. Just ask them to come and see me. Just hand them. Just tell them, I think you need to see Apostle. If he runs away, that's your deliverance. Straight up. Let me assure you. If he runs away, don't cry. Just say, Lord, I thank you. You see, I've been asking you to help me. Now you have done it again. I don't know any home. I say this with every sense of sincerity. We have a lot of wedding cards. There are two more I'm going to announce. You see me with wedding cards. And I can tell you, by God's grace, there is a track record of marriages that work in Koinonia. You see marriages here, they work. There is a science to peace. It's not just about praying in tongues. You know that you will not disagree on certain. Yeah, there can be little disagreements here and there. But as far as the foundational truths about God, no sir, you've got that covered. May that happen to you. Amen. May that happen to you.
don't sit down you go and you're doing a relationship like occultism you alone you are just doing your thing the guy is deceiving you and then you just come and bring a letter and say you are marrying no matter who and what you marry will be there but the remaining part of it i guarantee you you are the one who will be there please be determined one of the greatest decisions you can make today as you are hearing me speak is that even if i failed in every area i must force this thing to work and i'm telling you if your faith says yes god will not say no the god of heaven make it work praying in the spirit praying in the spirit two more and then we'll wrap up for tonight the third faith booster is praying in the spirit the fourth is the power of praise and thanksgiving now pay attention because what i'm about to tell you is very powerful it's a key that very few believers especially pentecostals and charismatics understand this key very well many of us especially conservatives and orthodox do not know the power of praise and thanksgiving we call praise and thanksgiving a nuisance but it's a key and i want to show you what it does i want to show you the role it plays in the manifestation of results in your life write this down praise and thanksgiving are the keys that control the manifestation the manifestation call them the postmen that bring your your the answers of your prayer the way bill man that brings your is praise and thanksgiving call me a praise and thanksgiving your faith can buy the phone but i guarantee you it is through the vehicle of praise and thanksgiving are we together jeremiah 30 verse 19 Jeremiah 30 verse 19 we're going to look at a few scriptures very quickly Jeremiah 30 verse 19 and then we'll look at Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7 Jeremiah 30 verse 19 listen and they will not be small why because out of them shall proceed thanksgiving thanksgiving is a indication of faith hmm. You don't just thank God for what has manifested. You thank God to make it manifest. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. The key to delivering the answers to your prayer, the key to delivering it, making it manifest, is thanksgiving. Philippians chapter 4, please, quickly, 6 and 7. Doesn't mean you should be careless with your life. God will not do that. The word careful there is the word anxious. Anxious. It says, let your request be known unto God using this formula receive from god using this formula thank you jesus it's a powerful thing to say lord i thank you lord i thank you sometimes you just need after you have prayed and fasted and done everything praise and thanksgiving ah praise awaits thee oh god in zion praise and thanksgiving has turned around the lives of people I wrote something down here that I want you to write. Pray thanksgiving guarantees the manifestation of your desire. Praise and thanksgiving guarantees the manifestation of your desire. John 11, 41. We're reading to 44. John 11. Let's see what Jesus did at the grave of Lazarus. See. In fact, before we go to John 41, please give us Mark 11. Mark 11, let's look at 23 and 24. Jesus taught something that is very instructive. Look at this. The character of faith with thanksgiving. Let's look at Mark. Okay, verily, verily, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, 24. 
Jesus is talking to us now. Therefore, I say unto you, what thing soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, do what? believe that thou receivest it unto you, and thou shalt have it. Are you seeing there? So there's an interplay of two words. Receive and have. What thing soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that what you have received and then you will you will having is in the future but receiving is immediate you receive by faith what way to have it you receive it kabbalah tabaya so the bible says as many as received him their lives may not look like they have him but they have received him and with time their lives must demonstrate the mystery of godliness god in a man John 11, 41 to 44. Jesus is standing at the grave, the grave of Lazarus. John 11, please, quickly. 41. Then they took away from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus, listen. Jesus told the Father. He said, Father, I thank thee that thou heard me. How many times have you seen Jesus giving thanks in the midst of challenges? Remember when he was multiplying five loaves and two fish? The same thing. He lifted it to heavens and he said, he gave thanks, the Bible says. And he told the guys, go and distribute it. Next verse. Me up, but people which stand by, I said it, that thou may believe that thou hast sent me. Then 43. And when he had thus spoken, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Now watch this. You would call Jesus. You would say Jesus does not have faith. Why will you still call Lazarus forth when you have said thank you? I've had a lot of teachings. well meaning teachings. That make it look like when you pray and pray emphatically you don't have faith. No sir. No sir. Persistent prayer is accurately recommended from scripture. There is a place of persistent prayer. Elijah did it. The Bible uses his story in James 5 to give us a portrait of a life of prayer. 44 And he that was there did what? Came forth. Thanksgiving. So when you are thanking God it's not because the miracle has manifested but that you know that you are giving room for it to find expression say in the name of Jesus achieve a blessing a provision from scripture for my life and I declare that I will live a life of thanksgiving and praise hallelujah the Lord led me to speak on something when I was writing this and the Lord told me something I will write it exactly as he told me. He said, teach your people to jealously guard their joy. Write it down. Teach your people to jealously guard their joy. Isaiah, please, verse 3. Joy. Joy plays a big role in the manifestation of miracles in our lives. I want you to read it if you're a Christian of salvation so it likens salvation to wells there's healing there's prosperity are we together now joy when two people are fighting the first thing that disappears is laughter joy joy is of the holy ghost there is difference between joy and happiness if i give you money you'll be happy joy is of the spirit it's not tied to circumstances it's an activity of the spirit like eternal life that is at work in a believer it says rejoice jealously guard your joy joy killers there are naysayers there are sadists there are bad talkers listen please hold on let me say something that is very striking you see Social media is part of what we were talking with Ajumit this morning. Social media, your mobile device, whatever gadget you have, if you are not careful, it will add to destroying your joy and your peace. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yeah. Because we live in a world where the whole world is a global village. 
anybody can say nonsense when he or she wants to say whatever and destroy your joy you have a responsibility to guard your joy you don't have to read everything they post on newspaper are you hearing what i'm saying you don't have to read every text that comes to your phone it's not compulsory hmm. you don't have to go for every meeting and every program joy killers there are people who destroy your joy you get up in the morning the moment you hear them your whole day is dampened their dreams are bad dreams their talk is bad talk their prophecy is bad prophecy there is nothing communicated to you that can minister life that's not of the spirit hallelujah somebody had been disturbing me one time i think two years ago you know he had been saying he has a prophetic word for me i said what is all this one day? why send it now he said no 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 god said he must see me and so when i now he now came and saw me and the guy was just warning me he said god said i told him i said get out of this place please if that's what you want i'm i'm very open to hearing the word of god but this thing you are talking is absolute nonsense please leave this place god is not somebody in your pocket that you keep and bring out when you want to just, just leave this place with all that, that nonsense. You know, there are people who believe if prophecy is not negative, it's not powerful. So they derive the power from the negativism. They, when it reacts to emotion with fear, they say, that's right. This is conviction. No. 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 Prophecy is for edification, for reproof, for comfort. Are we together? Yes. You must guard your joy. Brothers and sisters, listen right now there are many things happening in this nation that can destroy your joy all you need to do is put on your news for 10 minutes and almost everything irritates you you hear that someone is killing this person pick your newspaper they are lambasting a man of god they are doing this and that they are lambasting the president buari and his wife they are lambasting this they are lambasting that you now turn to the paper and then the person who is writing it and all kinds of things you will destroy yourself if you keep yourself in that atmosphere ask anybody who knows me i part of my assignment is to design my environment with things that keep me motivated and joyful you whenever you come to my environment the environment forces you regardless of what your mindset is you instantly subscribe to the protocol of that environment i plan to live a very long life see there are people who you see somebody you think is 50 you say how old are you, you say i just clocked 27 and you are wondering so what is wrong say, ah, why when you have you ever sponsored yourself and you see people wrinkled and angry stand in the morning tomorrow saturday people are supposed to be rested just stand in the morning and see how angry people are an angry conductor talking to an angry driver opening their door angry passengers madam now early in the morning no good morning this is the kind of society i'm not mocking them i'm saying joy is a scam commodity in our world a pastor comes to climb the stage with his anger things didn't work well at home he just a simple message from god you lash it down everybody knows you are angry and it has nothing to do with your preaching say i will remain joyful say it i'll remain joyful there are men of God who are angry because people write all kinds of things about them. A pastor once called me and he said, um, a senior man of God he respected in his area was teaching in their, you know, like the, their church and spoke about him and said, all these boys, etc., blah, 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 just tore him down. And he said, Apostle, but you know, I, this is not how my life is. And I looked at him, I laughed. I said, How many years have you been in ministry? And he said, Two years. I said, That's why. There is a way this thing is like a shoe there's a way you wear it that your leg becomes the same temperature with the shoe it no longer can hurt you it's when you remove it and give somebody you wear it and say ah that's what you've been wearing say, that's how i live it's not that it comes once in a while ah may god give you grace to sit under fire and laugh <laughs> I want to be a man of God. There are many people who want to be pastors. They think all there is to ministry is just sitting in front. And then your first one year, you receive a bitter shock. 
Nobody, your environment likes you. And you are saying, God, this was not the bargain. God, just continue. God knows how to motivate you. Mm. Joy. There is nothing in this life, hear me, that is, and I've gone through many things in my life, but there is nothing in this life that has the capacity of stealing my joy. No. That I wake up in the night, I can't sleep, I just sit down. And you say, Apostle, what's wrong? I say, Kai, life. <laughs> Is it funny? It's like you are mocking me. No, no. Live a life of joy. I know there's no money in your pocket, but you cannot carry your heart on your face. Every point is wrong with you. Joy. You see people frowning in society. Hold my hands. Just see someone moving. I wanted to, I intended holding a lady. Back to send her. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This husband and wife, oh, watch this. Husband and wife. On the way are we going? Just follow me. <laughs> you are going to a shop. Eh, uh, Oga, please give something. Which one are you? And he said, ah, bros. Said, please, please. Ah, you are not my counselor. Don't, don't talk to that. This is my... Ah. Brothers, may you never be that kind of husband. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are driving. You are angry. You are angry till you almost want to die. And then the devil knows how to make things go bad. He will make somebody want to hit you. Just bring your hand like this. You are, you are broken. You leave this. Is, and then you turn back. And you are hearing Koinonia message. <laughs> to respond to life. I will not react. I will respond to respond means you are in charge of what you want to do to react means what happened to you will force you to do things you do not want no sir if you look at me right now and you hate me like many people do all around I mean it would be stupid to imagine everybody loves me there are people who hate me just like you I mean I mean just like they hate you too not that you hate me I know you love me but I'm saying just like they hate you oh, all around they hate us all we're talking about a man of God I read an article that was tearing a man of God who I would say if you put a number one man of God in this nation he has the cleanest record ever and somebody was tearing him I just told the this morning I said there's no survival for anybody we're all going to go through that thing if this man can be criticized just for working in miracles you are in trouble do you know that yeah I watch people not you but I watch people as we travel around when miracles become extreme you see the people looking they now become uncomfortable why which ministry did you say this guy is <laughs> I've got joy like a river joy like a river joy like a river in my soul i've got joy like a river 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 my soul i've got joy like a river Hallelujah. Somebody called me this morning from the east. He's getting married on Saturday and the money is not enough. And the guy called me shaking, angry, and saying, Look, that he has released his faith, he sowed seed. And I told him, I said, My brother, you are going to marry. Take it easy. See, let me tell you, when Satan tries to take the whole world to put on your head, refuse, reject it and stand on it. Your head is too small to carry the whole world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't act as if the whole world is on you. Do you learn? I know, relax. Your worry, the Bible says, which of you by worrying can add a cubit, a cubit. Worry does not help anything, but it destroys everything. 
impression number one be calm number two involve god number three settle down and receive wisdom and strategy say i reject worry please brothers and sisters don't think i don't know what i'm saying i do reject worry men will throw it at you reject it it will come as house rent reject it it will come as no money for food reject it if people want to come and in a bit to sympathize with you they want to massage that worry and put it in diplomatically throw it out casting all your cares upon him why for he cares hallelujah psalm 67 verse 5 let the people praise thee O god psalm 67 verse 5 we're rounding up let the people praise thee O god psalm 67 let the people praise thee O god let the people praise thee let the people praise thee when you read down it tells you that the earth shall yield its increase right it says then shall the earth yield her increase our god will bless us the earth will only yield her increase when the people praise see it is in this one thing that every religion on earth agrees that there is a negative energy that is released from you when there is no joy is that true that's the cause of depression if you ever if anybody ever tells you i have high blood pressure tell them it's a lie you know when people tell me how is the burden of ministry i say burden i'm one of the most privileged man of god in this city and around this place lovely workers lovely people people who love me and believe in me i mean what more can i ask for i'm a happy man don't ever let anybody join you in anger say kai i'm angry you too abi say no i'm not angry. i'm not angry there's this song i'm acknowledging you for sing it for me for what you've done in my life Listen, let me give you a secret. You may not have paid attention to it. 80% of the things you worry about never happen. Go back and check yourself. Check the track records. Something always happens. But the worry kills you. There's a story I read a few, um, um, some, some years ago about Ambrobas who came to a place and the man and his wife, uh, you know, two of them were lying and she tapped him. He was doing as if he was sleeping. They were real Ambrobas and, you know, tapping him, the man, honey, you know, get up. I expect you to do something. You are the man, you are the priest of the home. And the man tried to act as if he was sleeping. She insisted that he wake up. And when he woke up, do you know, because of the fear, the woman took courage and she got out. She was shouting, praying, you know, saying, Blood of Jesus, shouting. Eventually, the arm robbers left because the house was well secured. Do you know when she came back, the man had died? True story. Was it a gunshot that killed him? Fear is a spirit worry is a spirit depression is a spirit anger is a spirit all these things are spirit the bible tells us that spirits search for human bodies don't let them land on your own i choose to be happy i choose to be joyful i'm a very joyful person if you're a joyful person you are my friend if you're not a joyful person i love you we're part of god's big family but you are not part of my immediate family i assure you i cannot tolerate joyless people honestly that's why when people are talking if you are crying out of pain i understand i'm human but where we now say okay calm down a word has come from god you are still crying no 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 relax god's word has come there are people here there's a family here they are here to see me they lost their child are they here where are they this family you see seated right now they lost you lost your child they lost their child can you imagine they came all the way they've been trying to see me 
so when i say joy you've not lost anything you didn't lose your finger you didn't lose your head yes and they are pastors your pastors right they are ministers of the gospel loving god and so you see the word is comforting them and yet they came still believing in god for some people this is the last time they will come to church may may you love god to a point that nothing that happens in your life good or bad will ever steal your joy the bible says what shall separate us from the love of god it may not always be rosy but i guarantee you you can choose to be joyful that you say yes i rejoice lord i expected you to show up in a way but you did not show up but i still give you thanks the carryover will not come lord 10 people testified that their carryovers were waived why did my own stay in it i still give you thanks it will cost me one extra session but lord i know that you are a master at converting wasted opportunities to a blessing therefore i know you are up to something instead of complaining say lord i hand over my extra year take it as a sacrifice and use it that's how you buy time hallelujah the last of the faith boosters and then we'll pray is the bond of perfectness the bond of perfection love galatians 5 verse 6 the last of the faith boosters galatians chapter 5 verse 6 I want us to read it together it says for in jesus christ neither circumcision availed anything nor uncircumcision uh-huh read it now by love when the love of god love here is twofold listen love towards god and love towards men it can be love towards god alone are we together and it can be love towards men alone it must be love towards god and love towards men there are so many sad loveless believers they love god but there's no iota of love you can easily know somebody who does not have love their lives they are like sadists they don't rejoice at the lifting of anybody oh he just became a medical doctor and i was there was there medical doctor then what that give me salary in this wicked nigeria you don't have love see let me tell you when someone's success is not worth celebrating it's a sign that something is wrong with your love life jealousy bitterness all these attributes are derivatives of a life that is void of love are we together i really love people that's one of i think is one of the most powerful gifts that god gave to me in fact my name means the way to love beautiful name name your child that the way to love yeah instead of all these nonsense names people give children that bring curses on people you name a child stubborn you name a child idiot whether it is tribal idiot or english idiot it's still the same thing you give children names that are both scriptural and very sound the way to love jesus said this by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples not when you pray in tongues not when you preach well not when you walk miracles not when you have money not when you have a crowd love love i want to ask you a very serious question number one do you love jesus don't say yes just listen do you love jesus number two do you love men do you love men can you actually come come tabitha can you actually look at this lady and say i love you some of us if you say i love you the person you are saying i love you to will run away because your i love you is poisonous and self-centered and not genuine i love you means i want your money I love you means I want something from you are we together listen let me tell you the love life of a believer is a powerful key is the key to health 
is the key to longevity is the key to freshness spiritually biologically let me tell you something god taught me you know I, I've, I've shared it here please give us that scripture first corinthians 13 there it says um love never fails look for it love never fails love never fails when the bible tells you want to walk with something that does not fail there are many things that fail the banking system can fail are we together the educational system can fail the employment system can fail here is a formula that god gives you have you found it ah. love never fails yes that's it the word charity is love okay it says love never fails say it after me love never fails that means anything i want to do i can make it fail proof by adding love like an antivirus are we together now i know what i'm saying you may not have put the principles but when you're about to fail love because there is love there love never fails all this gossip around bad biting around contributing to tearing people around sitting down in groups bringing the cases and the stories of people men of god pastors tearing people down fathers mothers all of those kinds of things they are expressions of hate let me tell you who loses in the end you you i want you to make up your mind today that the love life will be the template of your living it's a beautiful thing to love people when i stand and talk to people i'm going to be talking to people after the service i'm going to be doing ask the workers listen listen you can ask every leader in this house i love them they will tell you i love them not just because of the blessings not just because i i genuinely love them if you are a worker in this house and you have not experienced the love in this house you are not a true worker when i hear that any of our people are down whether or not i'm around somebody is there the, the spirit of love is where the anointing flows from don't use people let me give you a secret don't use people to make money don't use people to build an empire don't use people love people and jesus said something that is very terrible he says love them that hate you persecute you despitefully use you now that's a painful one i understand loving somebody who loves me back but how do i love somebody who does not love me that's where it becomes spiritual are we together when you love somebody who cannot give you anything back in return your love is genuine brothers and sisters let me tell you something love is a powerful force love is not a feminine thing love is not just an emotional thing for ladies and men who are interested in them love is a formula the bible says these three remain faith hope and love what is the greatest love first corinthians 13 12 after listing all of the gifts of the spirit he says but i show you a more excellent way and that more excellent way is the way of love all these people you have in your black book in the name of jesus burn that book tonight change it to a white book in the name of jesus over my dead body this sister you came and collected my husband something i know is my own you came and did this you came and collected this you collected my job all this rubbish and then there are men of god who enforce those things through prophecy and through all of those nonsense make up your mind today that if there is anybody you are holding in the heart you must let it go what's that song you sing worship song lay it down you know the song lay it down lay it down that's a part of the song lay it down hot listen god is speaking to someone now there are there are people here the only person you love in your life is you the only person who can live with you is you nobody else something is wrong with you not the people you are talking about tonight lay it down we're rounding up faith works by love 
you will never have faith to heal people when you don't love them no no you'll never have faith to bless people god will never commit to you the true riches of the kingdom if the purpose of your wanting to be a millionaire and a billionaire is to mock people and say you laughed at me yesterday now see what god has done no you see people do it all around those people are not they are not sound believers i'm ministering to you we're rounding up right now there are so many believers carrying luggages that they should not carry pain hot i will not be surprised if there are people here you love god but you never see eyeball to eyeball when you see yourself you just pass how are you the other person says fine it's just the sound you need you don't need the person's face hallelujah you must learn to love the law of love is where the power of God is released the Bible never said God has love there is the faith of God but the love of God it says God himself is love and he that walks in love walks in God you can you are in Christ and not have love love requires forgiveness shout forgiveness say it again love requires tolerance say tolerance not everything in people will change you have to forbear it's a spirit the grace to forbear are we together love requires sacrifice everyone says sacrifice yeah there is a dimension of love that is painful tears may come out of your eyes but you choose to love you do this and you will see the power of the holy spirit man of god let me encourage you whether or not your members are encouraging you whether they are sowing into your life or blessing you keep loving them love them genuinely pray for them more than you pray for yourself and watch what happens don't use them to make a name are we together there are many ministers who use members these are my flocks these are my my sheep jesus is the shepherd the, the 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 only shepherd around that we know was david and all of these people but jesus said i am the good shepherd if you claim to be a shepherd outside of him you're a bad shepherd i am the good shepherd you don't treat people like animals all these are my children some sons daughters flock arrogantly i don't know how people have the confidence to do that if i do that kind of thing will i be able to sleep listen we are going to pray but i want us to do something i'm going to allow you the next two to three minutes don't come here don't come on stage but you are going to walk around to everybody listen i want you to hug and greet the person and say i love you even if it's an enemy i'm not saying go to somebody you like don't don't it's a prophetic instruction i want you to walk around while you are doing that i want you to use this movement to lay down every heart all this wrinkle you are having you it has left your face to your life you need to drop it and say no no i i, I cannot i can't do this to myself i'm too young to be this frustrated my life will work nigeria is working you are not happy with nigeria there's nothing you can do you're a nigerian hug yourself into joy and peace and motivate yourself you're going to do that honestly are we together those outside inside those online find somebody to hug if there's nobody hug your bible and say in the name of jesus my life is working rise up now in the name of jesus rise up now in the name of jesus Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. 
Chabarado Satalabaria. Walks now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In my heart only comes a life every time I hear your voice. It comes a life every time I hear your voice. There are many women suffering barrenness, many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses. There are many of us, we are sitting here laughing, but nothing is working in our homes. It's not like you are not. The day you just announce in the family that there is a project, that's the day everything will scatter. Let God bless the family with small resources. Everybody gets sick until the money finishes. Then they will become fine by themselves. I was diagnosed. I've shared my story. Some of you were born in nice families. They took care of you. The devil never oppressed you. That's why you have not understood the implication. I was diagnosed of a fungal infection I had no account of. Just appeared. This head you are seeing was literally rotting. And they told me hair will never grow on my head again. I know what evil. The de That's why I will live every day. One of my life's mission is to give hell a headache till I transit to celebrate with Jesus Christ. Mm. That my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. There was nothing. This sponge, this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with, they used it to scrub my head. Blood was coming out. It was not out of wickedness. It was out of frustration. Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. They banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food. And I will stay alone. Ha! There is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain Break every chain. There was a season in my family. People were dying like chickens. Look, let me tell you something. My grandfather, for some of you who are around the north, my grandfather, they were the trustees and the founders of Church of Christ in Nigeria. I come from a, a lineage of missionaries, but it did not solve the problem in my family. Are you getting my point? All the firstborns, I saw the, I saw the pattern. They became useless people. Either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it. I, my father's elder brother died at a particular age range. My father's younger brother died at that same time. Just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range, we had gotten the revelation. Look, let me tell you. Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a rude shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother and we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts please listen people were dropping all kinds of gifts and when they had finished you know they are, were about to pack the gifts we noticed that the guy's stepmother just came a small gift that looked like a 
a small bucket you know this bucket you put flour or sugar inside and just wrapped it and dropped it and when i looked at it another brother too saw it i said kai because we're going to pray for the wedding gifts and i insisted that we we'll open this thing and see what is inside when we opened it what did we see a white bucket they just put a stone inside and closed it god is my witness welcome to planet earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live those who love god those who hate god and those who hate you and if you don't do anything about it they will take you to the grave hallelujah mm. many families let me tell you are suffering this mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain just comes upon a man and a family there are some of us here you just went to the hospital for test and they told you you have hiv you have left you you lived a pure life hallelujah something has happened in the realm of the spirit i remember somebody i think it was here is on video that he slept quietly and in the night somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said this is hiv virus injected it into him and he woke up physically with hiv i'm not scaring you i'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend are you getting what i'm saying somebody suffers in school you now finish school you go and serve you graduated with first class or two one five years down the line there's no decent job no decent job you want a job the manager is saying you know what to do and now you want to keep your christian integrity but you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow you now announce in your family that god is calling me to be a pastor from that day your whole life is tied into pieces everything you do does not work brothers and sisters i don't celebrate satan and evil but i'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now but there is power in the name of jesus there is power it's in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus it's to break every chain break every chain hallelujah i shared with us the testimony brothers and sisters if not that i saw this woman i would think it's a lie i've heard about it but i i was to i was to experience it for myself a woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man half monkey half man half monkey with hair if not that i was sitting face to face with this woman if i had another man of god say it i may join those saying this is a lie some exaggeration just to make the message look powerful i've seen all kinds of evil but in the name that is above all names there is an authority that must command the forces to bow see this is what happens to people and you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life are you seeing many of us are struggling you are trying to fight your health you are trying to fight this whereas there is a root problem if that problem is not dealt with you may be healed but it will appear as something else i hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree how do you make a tree healthy do you clean the leaves you add fertilizer at the root how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree you waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once when you address the problem it's like somebody who is complaining of headache but the real issue is typhoid fever you can take panadol again and again you will receive temporary relief but tonight some things will be totally settled in the name of jesus christ you will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up then job opens up then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it 
a dear lady of ours even while i was in abuja last week I, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time is on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing every area of her life was grounded i prayed for this lady and she went back to abuja and her boss looked at her he said come you've been working in this place what has been done for you right now this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere when her friends heard about it they say it's because you are fine she says have i not been here four years with the same pretty face nothing changes by itself till you force it to change it will change one day is a dream if you force it it will change are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us you are standing outside students you are you are suffering things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing the wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears with the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cysts all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of god you will keep getting afraid of satan but when you know who god is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am i speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when is the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah but the lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives listen many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families you know we believe in family in this place right your salvation is not complete until the members he said as for me and my house hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his juniors were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue tonight god will settle some family so please take what i'm saying seriously i'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray hallelujah there are some of you anytime somebody wants to bless you something will happen to that person and just cut eye. somebody says i want to bless your family everything becomes grounded there are some of us who are in ministry you have done everything you know groundbreaking prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory hallelujah and in a few minutes we have to pray before i begin to minister brothers and sisters i want you to pray and say father visit me i didn't just come to watch others and clap hallelujah the power of god is present to heal no matter what the sickness is no matter what the sickness is believe is it cancer is it hiv is it fibroid is it genotype issue no matter what it is you are stranded in whatever area of your life please position yourself because god is about to do mighty things right now 
no matter how far you are inside or outside talk to the lord don't be joking this is about your destiny this is your chance for exchange of story say lord i'm tired i'm tired of clapping for others lord visit me i want to make progress in my life but there are forces that tie me down lord is the season where you will increase my greatness i'm tired of this terminal disease tired of this cancer they've told me i have days to live i'm tired of walking on a wheelchair i'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness tired of this sickle cell anemia jesus you died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that hiv to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful he paid the price he paid the price go ahead and pray and say jesus you have paid the price jesus you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family we are tired of this hardship it's not your will for us to continue in this hardship and lord like jacob we hold on to you tonight we will not let you go till you change our story come on pray koinonia we will not let you go those outside are you praying lord change my story academically i'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished hiv is finished the devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and say my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe hallelujah hallelujah the power of god is in this place i believe lord i believe listen 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 let me tell you something hallelujah the man who laid down at bethesda he'd been like that for 38 years there is a way a situation has been so long in your life even when they are telling you god would change it you say lord change the rest tonight do not leave any stone unturned are you getting my point whatever 
whatever it is you are trusting God for many of us left different states many of us left different local governments I like you to pray and say Lord for this and that she and that area of my life. It, it must give way to now. Yes, Lord, it must give way tonight. It must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Yeah. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere right now, right now. Miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God, my God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God. Right now, I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is falling outside. Activities of witches and wizards. Right now, Satan, Satan, Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. 
and I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name, it's already happening to people right now. As I speak, as I shout that name, Jesus, when you shout it, many of you will hear sounds of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus! I give the chains. Those outside, lift your head. Just those outside. Those outside, lift your head. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. How about the Go, go, go. 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 Hallelujah. Lift your hands. The spirit of delay. 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 The Lord is talking to me now. Hallelujah. The power of God will fall on certain people. Straight up. God is killing the spirit of delay. And I see this row. The angel of the Lord is standing upon this row. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay. Across this row. Go, 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 Hallelujah. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she take a papa let her go now you are a devil of darkness release her family now 
release our family now release our family now I the chains. hallelujah look at me my brother I need to pray for you there's nothing working in your life is that true look at me absolutely nothing people just see you and see you dressing well there is not financial nothing is working look at me you are a sincere person are you getting my point you have cried you have cried there's nothing you have not done but tonight God wants to change your story bring that lady because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through bring her let her go now and forever in Jesus name go to break every chain break every chain my brother in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy to you look at me things will so change and turn around in your life you will be surprised you believe this father let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing military uniform who is a soldier who is a soldier around you I'm seeing this I live in the barracks you live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform hallelujah God is going to help you huh? you need the help of God you have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself it will take God to help you hallelujah Victoria 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 the Lord is showing me a name Victoria we may not call everybody Victoria Victoria ah well I believe when God speaks to one he speaks to all where's the person I was talking to he has gone I've not finished my brother Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil. Right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I've not seen a woman. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens. Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe. Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother. I didn't pray for you, that was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, change his story in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is, but as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you, please, because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free in the name of Jesus. Let her be free in the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story, so God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The 
the Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies, in a strange way. God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this, down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hands. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every cause of marital delay. Leave God's people now. 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 Every cause. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit. Stopping marriages. Go protect them. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every heart of witchcraft that has tied families we release you right now hallelujah goodness God is setting families free. oh the devil must give up on you tonight yes he will yes he will Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That girl on red, tying red scarf. There is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go. Go out of her right now in the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things god is just setting people free are you getting my point i like us to just flow with what god is doing right now thank you jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. 
I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please hurry up. Who is that person? One, if, it's, if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains, the chains for you. Please hold my hands. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. God, power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Your family is not even you now. You are a worker in this house. And as a worker, you are entitled to certain blessings. Huh? Your family, there is a cause of hardship upon your family. Your entire family. Hold my hands. You must be free right now. Let her go. Representing her family. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. What is this that I see in the spirit? You must let her go. Because she's a faithful worker in this house. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release your family. I release your family. I release your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me the vision of a tree. And I'm seeing it tied with ropes. Tied with ropes. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. It's tied. And this is like the destiny of this family. And they've done everything to tie it. But I release it right now. I release it by the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus and I prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now be released now be released now be released now, be released now. every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft Go poteketeteta. Be released now. Oh. Hallelujah. 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening many of you will leave this place you will be surprised just believe me there is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of god will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wild fire it will come upon you please let me help the ladies like wild fire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. 
who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady, you're seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure. Treasure or something precious. Who is that? Like treasure. Or don't tell lies here, oh, please. You are the one? What is, what's your name? No, no, Salome, just wait here. You are the one? Salome. The, the meaning of your name. I'm going to pray for you. Salome, where's your mother? She's at home. Where? We need to pray. God wants to give your family breakthrough. Out of her now. Out of her. Out. Out right now. Out. Out of her. Out. Bring them. She parata barrette brega de boxa. Niva so paria cabaria dos de caparacata. Ifra dos palia tabaco seca de le bregadia. Reteste parata baco seca de leva. Sipana baco. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Now be free. Now be free. Now be free. Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. we plead the blood of God. Oh, oh, we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles. Now, you know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. 
please and please we don't fake miracles in this place we don't we believe in the power of God I know that many people have come trusting God for healing and I know that some of us have come with our loved ones hallelujah praise God please I want us to be orderly in this place no fighting no nothing by the grace of God we are going to minister to everybody one by one hallelujah praise God so please and please I want you to cooperate with us hallelujah the worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick you came with someone sick or you are sick now is your time to walk up to the front come and stand and trust Jesus for a miracle and make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request hallelujah please if it's someone that cannot stand maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ those of you standing lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people please pray please pray his presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype. Don't worry. Jesus is the Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His Please, let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. He, his presence is His presence is here to heal. His presence is here. Let your faith rise. Lord, my time has come. I'm not going back the same. From headache to infection, no matter how little. Oh, hallelujah. Jehovah Rapha. There is a God that heals in the house. One more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. To heal, to heal. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit. So just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise.
Make sure you go back and begin to check yourself. God is healing people. Come and see in the presence of the Lord. Be healed. Hold on, be please. Healed. Hold on. Hallelujah. Daddy, don't cry. What's wrong with you, sir? I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years. 30 years, brothers and sisters. 30 years arthritis. Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. Is your father? Is your father? Come. What did they tell him in the hospital? Sir, he's having arthritis. He's having deep. It's not just arthritis. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. I'm seeing pile. This is witchcraft. Do you have pile? Yeah. I'm if I want to, if I want to, uh, easy yourself. Easy myself. The thing will be strong. That's what I'm saying. It's pile. This is pile. It's not just arthritis alone. This is pile. This is this is an evil thing. Is that pile? Yes, sir. Exactly. It's having pile. You are having pile. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You too. You are having pile now. See, this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family. It's not just your father. This thing has been there since. Since. Are you getting my point? You are not the only one. You have suffered with this pile. Even you, it has embarrassed you. It's just something you cannot tell people. Because I'm seeing that if they don't help, you will start bending. It will start like your leg will start paining you. The same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you. You've done for me what no man can do. Jehovah, Mela. Jehovah, Jehovah, Mela. you've done, you've done for, for me, me. what no one else will do. There is a name that is greater than any ancestry. You will be the first to be healed. Come, hold my hand. Pile, go now. You are a devil of darkness. I curse you out from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Daddy. I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. At this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at look at look at this, 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 are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no pain. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. Come on, celebrate! 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 Come on, celebr
the spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Dance to the shame of the devil. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? From Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned In the name that is above all names, I prophesy. Just leave him. Leave him. He's just sitting down. He's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself. I cannot stand up by myself like that. Before, all right, sit down and try it again. Sit down and try it again. You know, he couldn't stand up, but help him. Help him sit down. Try to stand up now. Look at this. Help him. Oh, hallelujah. It never returns again in the name of Jesus. Whoever is responsible for any evil, he will reap what he has sown. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Let's hurry up. When God. Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hey! When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. and a wicked person. Madam, look at me. This woman is going through a very serious situation. But let me tell you, it will change. I don't care what has been removed. One has been removed. They removed. Don't cry. It's okay. It's okay. What exactly did the doctor say? They didn't say anything. That I can no longer conceive. That you can no longer conceive. Why? one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah! Son of man, can this point be <laughs> Hallelujah! I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here, she would have brought the child. And let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister, Sadia's sister, she's not here. That one. Is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. This kind God, oh, I never see in kind, no. This kind God, oh, bless the me. Hallelujah. Hold on. This, this is a woman 
that nothing would have been able to happen nothing completely but look at the fine boy see look let me tell you there is nothing that ends argument like results you can fake it they can you fake a child hallelujah madam let me tell you the truth you will not only carry a child you will carry plenty of people please believe i i i brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby this baby was looking like an angel they were snapping the baby right hallelujah father every woman in this place every family trusting god for a miracle child in the name that is above all names you did it for this family do it again do it again oh god do it again oh god hallelujah madam you'll be free right now look at me i don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working is irrelevant all i know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs where it will come that is not my responsibility are you getting my point now the child is something will leave you now this is this is demonic let this woman go now i command that you get pregnant give birth to miracle children we create new wounds right now in the name of jesus christ it is done you will return with your miracle children I will attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time worship him please my god is awesome he can move my hold on let her talk ya ro na le aje israel le aje israel zin she she na aki the nigeria christian programs commission Abuja. So say so take fi ya leading ya in south south. Say ya edo guda kudu sun je sun duke shi. Suka cire shi daga fourth floor sun yadda sha kasa. Suka karba kudi a wajen shi. Tun December 14 yana fama a Israel. Shine ya sa na ce amma ina yake yanzu. Har yanzu amma yanzu lokacin da ya fadi an ce ba za yi bungana ba zai yi rubutu ba zai yi tafiya ba oga su ya ce to a ci gaba da treating din shi yayi addu'a Allah ya gaya mishi zai yi tafiya zai yi magana zai yi rubutu suna yeso yanzu yana rubutu yana magana amma ka fadi ne bai fara tafiya ba father in the name of your son Jesus Christ all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost Kabala to zata baranda kalibata zide lembrash ko brande kalabati la kabras te brandi zata bala mande ke bres ke latos ko bari kalaba. In the name of Jesus, what's his name? Bege pochechet. Bege, Bege, we call you now. Those, I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk. Every broken bone, we mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying can make his affairs sometimes go. Go back. Come on, get the kafa. Hurry and as well. Add the kafa. They call it sending kashiabi in Alsa. That's what? 
rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Hausa, Baju, anyone. Everyone. What's that your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what? That's baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Young Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? You don't know what they're saying, just be just with them. Hallelujah. Mommy be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus. I cause that pain. Right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain go. Walk man. Walk. 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 Walk, look at this. Walk, look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountains. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where I'm My God, heal now. Out, 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 out. Out, 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 out,
release her right now. Release her every part of her body. start collecting the prayer requests very quickly start collecting the prayer requests very quickly
As I pray for you, go back and check yourself. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Praise the Lord. The Lord is healing and perfecting this man. Hallelujah. He came here with all kinds of pain. But in the name of Jesus, the pain is gone. Daddy, I want you to take a step of faith to walk. Leave him. Just support him, but leave him. Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall, Daddy. They are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it. The pain my is gone. <laughs> the pain is gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I cause evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, Daddy. To the sole of your feet be healed. I command the knee, the ankles in the name of jesus christ be made whole in jesus name you will not fall they are supporting you please don't be afraid just follow me come don't be afraid don't be afraid just look at me look at me look at me sir look at me now come come just come just come 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 at this come on now koinonia celebrate jesus he's walking by himself don't worry you will not fall they are supporting you just come just come leave them that walk by yourself come come thank you jesus come come on koinonia he's walking by himself Exercising the leg.
Nothing is the same Everything has changed Oh, for me Chain is 
breaking, whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah, we're breaking, it's breaking, yeah, breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, bowing. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet, they can just connect by faith. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes will lead us to this session. Praise the Lord. If you can rise, please rise. This is a very prophetic moment. Look at me. Hold on. We're not just doing this foolishly. This is an instruction God gave us. Hallelujah. We've had unspeakable testimonies. I believe almost everybody, this is summary of your prayer request. We may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray. As Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Rata Lord, your grace 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light, real fast, bringing answers to prayers. For some of us, we will receive calls even tonight. Answers, answers, answers to prayers. Ah, just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord. And right before the prophet left the temple, answers came. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The answers come tonight in the name of Jesus. The Lord brings healing. Aha. Thank you, blessed Lord. Bakos i perioto shimile gam from siki parodo sile branda karabadose. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, Abba Father. God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you wherever you are please as i pray i want you to march forward you'll be the first i'm going to pray for there are people here right now others you've given your life to christ but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom and you're saying lord enough is enough enough is enough don't be ashamed don't wait for everybody everyone has joined the kingdom you are the only one left i'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now celebrate them god bless you as you come people are coming God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly, please save time. We'll just count one to three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ don't be ashamed this is a decision to begin to walk with god don't be emotional about it this is a sincere decision it can decide your eternity after now don't sit back there are people still sitting back the holy ghost is telling you to get up and come the bible says if you hear his voice in that day harden not your heart god bless you god bless you there are more people coming from outside please celebrate them very quickly find your way to the front hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
People are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call. But please, we mean business. This is very, very serious. God bless you, our sister. Just join us very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down in the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today. The powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death, we command that they are set free from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Do wonders in their lives. Make mighty men and women out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We celebrate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They'll have your details and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's, she's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Neke la bondele karatabaya. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now be open now be open now i command breakthrough right now in the name of jesus every closed door over your destiny be open now Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, What shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names may an anointing for favor a real anointing with proofs may it come upon your life now receive favor now favor with god favor with man hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon and the king whoever needs to send for you who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life i call them into your life now i call them into your life now in the name of the son of the living god destiny helpers share the word of the lord I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, and thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dresser passed and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south. God can take a man from a dunghill and place him above. Even if you are not working, you can stand for your loved ones. Man, de I pray as surely as the God of heaven lives, whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered. We release it now. We release it now. We release it now. We release it now. Hallelujah. And Elijah told his servant, he said, check. And he came back. He said, there is nothing. He said, go and check again. And he said, I saw a cloud like the feast of a man. I pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now I command your exodus right now for those trusting God for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the Lord told Elijah go to the brook Cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water I command supply right now by the favor of the Lord God of Israel. Let there be supplies. Hallelujah. I pray for you. The Bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country. He said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed. Lift up those hands in the name of Jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Amen. Scripture said, they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palmer worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower, a strong tower. I declare, anyone marked for death here, or any family marked for death, either by witchcraft, bomb blast, assassins, or any kind of political wickedness, the blood of Jesus separates you from the spirit of death. You shall not die. You shall not die. Not by accident. Not by bomb blast. Not by terrorism. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, As for me and my house, I prayed for you. Now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the God of Israel in your house, we change that report right now. Whatever has mocked the God of Israel, Sarah said, those who laugh at me have now laughed with me. I declare, we change the story of your family. And his mother named him Jabez because she said, I bore him in sorrow. And Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today, we change that name right now. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost Please lift your hands. Just, I just have one minute. There will be impartations right now. The anointing of the Spirit. All kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Prophetic anointings. Apostolic anointings. Healing anointings. Take it. Take it. Take it. Everywhere. Inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place I command it to come back alive every dead word life I command it to come back alive now Go and heal the sick. Go and cast out devils. I call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven. Go and represent the value system of heaven. Go and be a light. Change people's situations. Speak over their lives. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like, 
this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye